Hello and welcome back. We're now going to see how general user parameters are defined. The reason we do this is to make sure that we automatically pre-populate fields that remain unchanged over a period of time. A good example would be a user belonging to a specific work center. We could also be looking at the user working at a particular plant or even a user being responsible for a particular functional location. The customizing function is SU3 and we have three tabs here. We have the address, defaults and parameters. So we need to make sure that our address tab is populated accordingly. Then we go to defaults. We could enter our decimal notation here, the date format and the rest of the information that need to be populated, uh, such as the time zone. You could select your time zone here. So once that is done, you need also to go to parameters. And here I have some parameters that have been defined. So let us look at the work center. This is a parameter value that I have entered for my work center. So I have 3,000 for my purchasing organization, 3,000 for my main work center for maintenance tasks, and I have 1,000 for my cost center. So you can go ahead and add any other parameters that you need to add here where you want to define the parameter value and again, if you know that is, this is not going to change over time, then it makes sense to pre-populate it so that every time you run your business process, that is automatically populated. So that is how you define general user parameters. In the next video, we are going to look at maintenance specific parameters, whereby if we set maintenance specific parameters, then uh, these parameters that we have set here will be overwritten. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.